The days that are really bad sometimes are the days that are, that are really hard and you're just like, why am I doing this? And I don't want to do it anymore. People are saying this and this about her and it's not true. It is possible, I'm covered, I'm Muslim. No matter what you want to do in life, you can do it. My name is Zahra Lari, and this is my journey. I used to talk a lot when I was a kid. I used to drive everyone crazy. I told my mom, like, I want to try skating, and I was very lucky that we already had an ice rink here in Abu Dhabi. But my mom said no because she was scared of injuries and stuff like that. And also, like, I was always really good in school, so she was really scared that my grades would drop. So obviously, I went to my dad. <laughs> the next day, he picked me up from school and surprised me and took me to the rink. And I started lessons ever since then. <laughs> I didn't realize how hard it was until the first time I stepped on ice, and I fell like a hundred times. I mean, for me to be able to reach where I am today is through a lot of hard work. There isn't an easy way through sport. You have to actually put in the hours in order to be successful. I mean, I had to go in 4.30 in the morning before school, and then I finished school, and immediately at 15 minutes after, I have to be on the ice until the evening. My parents always tell me if it's something, like one day it comes and you don't enjoy it anymore, just tell us and that's it, everything will stop. So, I mean, for me, it's something I still love, and I don't think I'll ever hate it. The thing that I love about skating is like you'd be working on a jump for months and then you'll just keep falling and falling and then one day it just clicks and you land it and that's like the best feeling. The first time I went to compete, it was in 2012 and it was in Italy. To be honest, I was still young and I didn't realize what a huge thing I was doing. First of all, being the first Imarati skater and the second thing, doing it while being the first like covered skater. During competitions, usually girls are wearing short dresses. I was covered and I think like the major criticism was how am I dressed or why am I doing this while being covered or and stuff. Just basically just silly things like that. I remember my mom coming to me one day and just sitting with me and it bothered her so much. And she went to my dad and she's like, I think she should stop skating. People are saying this and this about her and it's not true. We had a meeting with Her Highness Sheikh Fadla bin Teza and then that's when um, Her Highness said, no, we're supporting her 100%. To be honest, I'm very thankful for FBMA because anything I needed, anything I wanted, they were always there for me trying to help me and without them, honestly, I probably would not be skating today. I mean, it would make me extremely happy to be able to represent my country for the first time in a Winter Olympics. I still have the 2022 Olympics. I just have to keep my focus and do exactly what I'm doing at practice and hope for the best. The days where I get a certain message through Instagram or through any of my social media of a girl sending me a message saying, because of you, I started doing this sport, or because of you, now my mom is allowing me to do this and that. Those are the days that make me very happy, that you can go and do whatever you want to do in life. If you want to be an artist, you can be an artist. If you want to be an athlete, you can be an athlete. If you want to be a business person, you can be like whatever you set your mind to, you can achieve whatever you want to do in life. It is possible. I'm covered. I'm Muslim and I'm doing all these things, so, so can you. There's no difference. My name is Zahra Lari, and this is my journey.